Previously of Erica's Eric's. Here at Berks defend Penny with all, we don't even need your money. So we're closing down. I just got this commercial to say, screw you Loretta. You red haired skank. Mostly because I don't know, but also because I think it would, uh, ruin everything. I think it would ruin everything. Robert asks, are all of the episodes connected in one way or another, or is it all completely random? Well, they're all, uh, sequentially numbered. Trevor asks, can I become a member of the Party Kid crew? <sighs> yeah, I think they could use a Trevor. Might have to add a... I'd have to become Trevor. You know? You know, I think I could ask that more than uh, anything. So, I had them record a commercial, and uh, here you go. Party Kid Crew Unite. You two can join the all powerful Party Kid Crew. Just $49.95 a month. You'll get a bag of snakes. You'll also get these great Party Kid Crew benefits erasing all dads, manipulating space time. You get to ruin Jordan's life. Unlimited cake, dance parties, stickers, and even Steve's top secret joke book. Only $579 a week. Buy it now. Call 444-444-4444. Call now. Call now. Eden asks, what is your definition of the perfect date? Perfect date. Zach wants to know, is Shively Humperdinck your real name, or just a pseudonym? Oh yeah, no problem, Zach. You want my social security number too, or just my name? Rodrigo asks, are there hidden messages in your videos? Hell yeah, there are hidden messages. Let me show you a few here. I uh, usually do when I'm hungry, and I usually get, you know, paid by the sponsors. Ah, uh, this first one, okay. See, I'm hungry. Alright, and uh, I think the next one. When you zoom in on the Hot Pockets box. Yeah, see, Wendy's. And uh, uh, don't worry about this last one here. It doesn't mean anything. Leah asks, how the fuck do you think of all the stuff in your videos? I just, uh, you know, try to stay hydrated. First off, take a lot of naps. Uh, that's pretty much it. Sam wants to know, did you write any of the music that you use? If not, do you plan to? I write all of the music for Dreamcast, yes. And do you want to see a little behind the scenes footage? My neighbor keeps throwing dogs into my backyard. Ellie wants to know, what's the most useful advice you have been given? Just keep, uh, just keep, uh, you know, living. Cameron asks, how did you react to the growing popularity of the series? Like this. Rob asks, which party crew member can I punch in the face? Asking for a friend. Well, Rob, I think we all know the answer to that. Alex says, dear Shively, I would like to know what it's like being the greatest being in the universe. Let's ask her. This is what it looks like. 
Tanya wants to know, what is the meaning of life, Shively? Will we ever find an absolute truth? If you wake up, just start doing something. It doesn't matter what. When you get bored of that, just start doing something else. And do that until you get bored. Or die. And that's pretty much it. David asks, how do you think that refrigerators will look in the future? I actually designed one myself. Take a look. This is Loretta Calretta of Lou Melba's Roulettes. And I'm here on this public access station to tell the world. Erica Surix, I didn't eat your goddamn croissant out of the break room. Stop spreading rumors. Thanks. Doreen goes, Shively. I have a super important question. When will I know that I've found love? Um, asking for a friend? Well, first you start talking like a dork. Then you lose all motor function. And then, you know, you live in constant pain for pretty, you know, most of the rest of your life. So, you could be in love. Carson asks, when will Dave return? Oh, Dave? Oh, no, he's right here. He's just not supposed to be here yet, so, you know, when he's ready. Don't come back. Morgan asks, is the time meter referring to technology? If not, what is he? No, he's everywhere. If you think he's only in machines, you're terribly mistaken. Danica says, where do you see the future of SDC going? Will you be releasing anything more in regards to Merc? Love Dream Chasm so much. Uh, Maya asks, will Bug Dad ever tell Bug Boy he's a Bug Boy? Or is it too late? You know, I hate to break it to you, but insects do all live that long. Go read your Encyclopedia Britannica. I can assure you, by now Bug Boy is a dead Bug Boy. Aaron wants to know, Shively, what's some music that you like? You know, I actually made a mix that you can listen to right now. It's at uh, Long Tom Silver's on the back table in the lobby. Go check it out. Eliane asks, who is the true god of this world and the dream chasm? I don't know, have a madam. Don't need to. Doesn't matter. Libby says, if Abraxas was an animal in the real world, what animal would he be? If Abraxas was an animal, he would probably be... Uh, pet rock. Gray says, will Teddy ever eat whole grain mac and cheese, and perhaps some broccoli mixed in, or continue with his daring live and let die lifestyle? I think he's pretty old school on that one, you know? Kiki says, are your dream chasms and characters' names or personalities based off of things you have experienced, real life situations? Yeah, I know. Uh, Bug Boy is based on a guy that I know down the block. Uh, uh, everybody calls him Bug Boy. And Teddy is about this T-Rex that, uh, you know, my neighbor got named Teddy. And a uh, party kid crew is about all these kids that just go around, you know, doing crazy stuff. So, yeah, you know, they're all based on, you know, life. Andrew wants to know, how do you find so much relevant stock footage slash pictures slash animations for your videos? Oh yeah, you know, I get all the stock footage from uh, my buddy, HughTube. HughTube. He just, uh, you know, leaves all these tapes, brings boxes in to the pawn shop, and I just, you know, use them. I hope that's alright. says, I'm feeling down. Will you make more videos akin to episode 23? I love you. That one really helped me calm my nerves. Yeah, I like that one too. Um, yeah, fuck it, why not? There you go. People will tell you where to look and what to do. 
They dig grooves in your mind, familiar pathways, and you think you have to follow them. It's bullshit. It's all perspective. And you can have your own. You're supposed to look at all the stars and feel small. Are you joking? From down here, it's only dust. Down here, you're the big cheese. Hey, how about from now on? Down here is up here. You know, the stars look pretty small down there. Down in the sky. But be careful when you go taking on gravity like that. You get big enough, things begin to work. Be damn sure it's nothing you can't handle. Don't let them dislodge you from your course. And at the same time, don't lead them astray. They look up to you. Though as we know, it's all perspective. Well, thanks for watching, huh? You can send your, uh, you know, questions, videos, whatever you want. Send them over, uh, I didn't get to the pawn shop today, but I'm gonna start, you know, uh, doing pawn shop items for people. So, send in your stuff to get appraised. Get some cash, you know. Alright, have a good one.